Police and investigators say family tensions erupted in Fall River where a man murdered his fiance's father and tried to kill her mother and sister. WBZ's Jordan Jagalinger spoke with neighbors who were just stunned tonight. We've learned the shooter residing here at 511 Bank Street did have a license to carry. The Fall River Mayor saying tonight what happened here this morning is a tragedy for the family, especially with less than three weeks until Christmas. I haven't come across a situation this horrific as long as I've been mayor. Fall River Police receiving a 911 call this morning just after three. Fiance reportedly just shot her parents and himself. The male still has the gun. According to the Bristol County District Attorney's Office, that's when 25-year-old Christopher Jean-Baptiste shot his fiance's father, mother, and sister before taking his own life. 69-year-old Hubert Lavasquin was killed. The woman's mother and sister in the hospital but expected to survive. Fall River Mayor Paul Coogan telling WBZ he was shocked by the news this morning. What happened in that house in the middle of the night was really out of character for that neighborhood. A sentiment neighbors agree with. I would never expect nothing like that because it just seemed like hard to me, hard workers. I'm just in shock, something like this to happen. The family all residing at 511 Bank Street. The DA's office also saying a preliminary investigation reveals Jean Baptiste was upset his fiance's family was living with them for the past several months. Jean Baptiste told his fiance's father to leave immediately. That's when the two engaged in a physical struggle when shots were fired. Christine Fernandez said she woke up this morning to blood on her door and porch. She believes someone was trying to get help. And I noticed all the blood on the doorbell and and you know just running down here and it looked like a a knock or a, or a handprint on the door. The investigation is still active and ongoing tonight. In Fall River, Jordan Jagelinzer, WBZ News.